Okay, it's been uh, quite a good season over 2018, uh, 2019 summer season. But first of all, uh, shout out to Mr. Motion Magnets. Um, uh, yeah, well, in the next uh, couple of months when I release the uh, the, the Davatron, um, Mr. Motion Magnets put out this uh, this principle that if you could do something linearly, you could do it circularly. And I'm going to put it back to you, having done it circularly, I want you to do it linearly sort of thing. So I suggest to him that he gets something like this. It come out, comes out of hibernation, and I think you're going to need about a a thousand of these sort of things because I would like you to do a, a, a linear maglev uh, track without electricity of course um, I, I say you want a long run 10 or 12 meters maybe 12 meters because you want to do uh, you know try and get the principle we can combine the metric and the imperial uh, system together and get the best of both worlds because the uh, imperial system avoids primes being a 12 you know the factors are 12 you know uh, 12, 6, um, 4, 3, 2, 1, of course, you know. Uh, so you can avoid, avoid primes because, you know, all the primes uh, exist on 6x plus or minus 1, but not all the numbers that are on 6x plus or minus 1 are primes sort of thing. But anyway, having said that, that's coming down the uh, in the next few months, so um, watch out for that one. That's going to be a biggie. Probably be, probably be my first viral video. So, um, uh, and yeah, if you do that... Um, your, your reward is you can turn up to the, the award ceremony. That gives you a free ticket to the award ceremony if you do that. Okay, so that's the reward. You can sit next to, you can even sit, 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 sit next to me if you want. Anyway, so, um, anyway, so over the, what we've done basically with these two systems is we basically worked out that um, Pete was slightly better than Coyer and, um, um, Kaya is, 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 is slightly better than um, a newspaper cellulose. So newspaper cellulose is a white wood. Your peat and your koi are, in quotes, brown wood sort of thing. Now we've, over the summer season, we've worked out that um, polystyrene and um, paraffin wax, they both uh, split the water, of course, and produce reductive flammable gas. These two basically act as if they are you're putting phosphorus into the system you know there's a there's a tenuous analogy to that that these two now all the all these um, products bark chips charcoal um, chalk I spell it C-H-A-U-L-K as in the old agricultural terminology they all produce uh, reductive flow. this only produces it for a short amount of time and it diminishes but um, we'll probably see later how we can actually keep that going, sort of thing. Okay, so producing a reductive flammable gas in a system, of course, will create a uh, reductive environment, in quotes, an anaerobic environment. But now if I take the tripod, something else you might be interested in. You know, they always talk about uh, fungi being strict aerobes or something. But then that might not be strictly true. And they talk about water moulds and things like that. Yeah, I mean, they talk about water moulds for a start, you know. If I uh, pull this one out, it's not the best, I know, but what I want you to see is this. Is that trichoderma? Because if that is trichoderma on there, that does beg the question, well, you know, are all, all fungi strictly, you know, strict air lobes, or... Is it not strictly true and we've got more to learn? Because everyone talks about you know, trichoderma and uh, carnivorous plants and uh, you know, you know, CP related plants and I suppose CP related weeds. So um, anyway, so I just thought to, I mentioned that. Keep your eyes and ears open on that one. Um, I've set this pot up and it's going to go through the winter season. I'm going to keep doing the double flush on this one and see if we can actually get that growing point to keep growing and expanding right through when it should be dormant because I don't believe when you're growing these things properly they actually go go dormant they're, they're more like a plum you know birch trees and all those other things they actually do actually grow their bark and they grow the um, expand while they're dormant in quotes the classical sense of dormancy they're not actually not growing they're actually physically growing so the bug I think they even do I think they even grow more 
uh, during the so-called dormancy period than they do actually during the growing season. I think you get more uh, enfatenment, I don't know if that's a word, <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, more enlargement of the rhizome uh, uh, during the actual cold period than, um, yeah, because we, we don't actually go below, much go below naught degrees here, basically. It's uh, you know, hardly ever, you know, it's a, it's a major newspaper event if we go below naught degrees here on the, uh, 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 on the other way plains. Really. Anyway, so I was, yeah, it's nothing special, but, you know, we haven't even started trying. It's just, I said, Took 35 years to get to the uh, concept of the double flush of uh, just putting, you know, sort of uh, these sort of materials on the surface of a uh, bucket of sand, basically, and learning that it's um, uh, you do need a smaller hole, you know, like an inch on the bottom, because it's basically an anaerobic environment. Um, but then again, our um, uh, French Malaysian friend. Um, online who has his garden chronicles page he's mentioned that he's tried charcoal in the past and it hasn't worked and there's a reason for this any of these things if you um, put them in the bottom of your uh, at the bottom of your pot or down the size of your pot in the nether regions of the pot the in the nether uh, anaerobic regions of the pot um, yeah you'll get uh, a disease and root rot if you haven't learned the principles of saturation you see so there's knowledge about that which we're going to test out this coming season is can we grow sea peas in a saturated environment just like they do grow out in the wild and then go from that to a new form of tissue culture where we can just have a jar pop stuff in um, and get things to strike and uh, you, know, you can open the jar and put m more stuff in and put the lid back on no lam no eight thousand dollar lama, lama flow involved whatsoever sort of thing. see if we can get to that stage you know, rev another revolution coming it down the pike in the pipeline sort of these uh, the, <coughs> the reason being is these plants here these cp related reeds you know you got your yeah you your, your, your dock your rhubarb, your gunner, uh, all these sort of things, your uh, horseradish and all those sort of things are notoriously hard to strike from leaves. I think there is a reason for that. Did you notice all these CP related leaves, they've all got a characteristic um, relation to them. All these ones I've thrown up, has anyone put their hand up and say, yes sir, yes sir, I know what it is, I can see, I can spot it sort of thing. Have, have any of you seen what is the common factor, the common relation between all these? That I think is part of the problem why you can't easily strike these plants. But I think once we get them into um, the knowledge of the saturated system, we might be able to actually strike those things. Which means we might be able to take things like Ceracenia leaves and maybe um, get them to strike more easily from the whole stem section uh, in a saturated box system and maybe even go into, yeah, as I said, the tissue culture system and get it to, do, get it to work there. But um, as I say, it, take, it took basically 35 years to get to the end of the, you know, the little the nib of the tri triangle and now we're going down the other end of the triangle and expanding into, uh, you know, we realise it's actually an anaerobic system, not all this, uh, all this concept about, you know, roots need oxygen, all that thing. <laughs> I think you can see from that thing with the trichoderma, if it is trichoderma, uh, that's not strictly true. You know, things in, in science are not strictly true when new information comes along, and I think um, you're going to, the, the whole uh, Vulcan eyebrow is going to be raised uh, in the next few months when um, uh, I unleash the, uh, the, the Davatron on the world, and uh, yeah, I think uh, it's going to be 